So, this crosscut, the crosscut piece can be removed. Not ready. Yep, can you put that back on? It'll be a little bit tricky to get on. You just so you just see how the bearings sit? Set the bearings on the 45 degrees and yep. you just pull it forward. Yep. Yeah, just get to get the alignment right. Sweet. Yeah, there'll be nothing apart from that. This will be defaulting to 90 degrees. This presets along here, 45 degrees, right through to 45. And so you can rotate that round. And if you just align the hole with 45, it's pretty damn close to 45. So yep. you want to move it closer up, then what you're going to do is loosen these two off. Get so there's two thumb screws. Yeah, yeah, the little wing nuts on there. Wing nuts, yep. And that will allow you to... Don't do that cut, though. <laughs> They'll be upset. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> okay, so if we take that back, quite a fault in we work with this to be done. Hair, clothes. Keep your hair out of it. Keep your hair muscle on. You've got ventilation running with it. Yep. The power comes in through the bottom here with the power cord and it will it will drop out if you know if you kick it. Um, and the up down adjustment is here. So that's the maximum you can cut through. Um, it will cut through that okay without too much effort. And around the ear at the front, we have the tilt of the blade. And you can see there's a, a gauge here. The zero is pretty damn close. If you just, if you're really after fine work, yep. you can adjust it a little more. So you just tip under that, and then you can tilt the whole blade. Or the whole blade, the whole saw. Yep. It's a bit awkward. So if we're going to zero, pretty much the stop is zero. Okay, um, so you just want the, if you're doing this cut, you're just going to want the blade to be, pretty much the base of the teeth to be about the height of the, what they're cutting, which is enough there, um, you don't get too much tear out on that. Right, so take it, you get out, keep your hands out of the way, that's what it's all about. Use a push stick if you're going to, you can clamp the wood to here, now, the other thing you might want to do if you're doing repeat cuts, Stop lock. Here, a stop lock. And then you can do multiple repeat cuts at the same, uh, same, Length. Oh, same yep. size. Now one of the advantages of this is you can start chewing away at your quite accurately. You can have a quarter of a plate at the top there. And the finish on the end you'll see is pretty, pretty good. Almost sanding quality. So stand behind it, keep away from the side. With especially with this, it's pretty safe. You don't have I've never had any trouble with a cross cut. Um, you've got obviously Every, all, all the uh, forces are in your favour. So, let's do it. You'll see it is a, uh, a uh, breath break on the blade, so if you... And you'll hear it buzzing for a while, that's the break staying in place, but it really doesn't matter. Show us that again. So that's the thing, it's just sitting down. Yep. And when you put the, it sits on top of there and you just pull it up and it locks. And it locks it. Locks it. Right. So okay. it locks your position. Yep. So it's quite easy to just loosen that and just creep that in however much you want. So keep, yep. So in our case, we're going to rip this and get it down to a constant width. Okay, so we'll just take that much off there, just lock that in, 
does clink away side, a little bit to the side, and there's a riving blade here to stop the work from coming into the yep. saw blade. And so can you adjust that? You can adjust that with this thumb screw, right? Yes, you can take that forward a bit. You normally don't want it. No, but I mean, you could probably yeah. ad, uh, put a shim in here to, yeah, but to correct. It, but you want a few, no, ah, I see. But that's just the cutting forces. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Now, you don't want to get any further back than about there on the blade. Sure. Good tip. So the key safety tool is push stick. When you, have, when you get in anywhere near the work, and then work near the uh, saw blade, make, that, make sure that's available. So, same idea, work. Just above the just above the work. Just change sides. Start it here. We have an exit thing there, which is probably going to bind at the moment. So make sure you've got clear space on both sides. Okay. Start it off. Cut. That's cutting any timber or ripping any timber <laughs> up to mm, about 30 centimetres. Yep. Um, if you want to go bigger than that, take the rip guide off and we pull this out. It just sort of comes up, pretty easy to get out, and then it pops into place. And now you can go from there. There. If you, that will give you a pretty much a sheet across a sheet of uh, custom wood or ply. There's a little bit of that, but all that. It's as far forward as it goes, and there is another piece of metal that is sitting somewhere. Is that it there? No, no, the yellow piece, not that side. Where have we got? Oh, here. Oh, yes. Just an extra, gives you just that last coverage. Oh, I see. Yeah. For that, that dead area between there. Sometimes you can leave, I'll leave it on, but if I'm, the other bit's nice because it gives you that support for any small amount of timber that sits in there. So it stops any uh, if you're cutting thin ply. That takes you a nice surface to sort of like. Sweet. Okay. Awesome. And that's it. So take it down, grab hold of it. Pull that to one side and it kinks on. Thank you. That's it. So, this is the dust extractor. Um, you can switch it off um, by hitting this emergency stop button, cancel that out. Um, it's all at the moment, it's going through a, a little box here that's got a relay in it and it's got a node MCU so you can. You go to this URL, I mean this um, IP address on your phone and you can switch it on off remotely. But uh, the important thing is that it's plumbed in, right? And that you plumb it down into the saw. So the saw's got a socket underneath so it'll pick up all the dust.